Okay, so I'm going to attempt to repair this 8-track tape cartridge that uh, broke on me here recently. I picked this up at the swap meet a while back. And first thing is getting the shell open. Basically, the tape has broken inside. And I've already opened it, but I don't really want to go through this again. But you have to take a screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, and pry at these three locations. And so that these clips that clip in through these holes in the cover here, these three clips are pried away from the holes and allow you to remove the top. And you kind of have to do it very carefully. And it's very easy for it to kind of fly apart on you. So do it with caution. Um, this tape, we're going to need to replace the... Uh, the silver tape that's normally in the uh, you know the middle of the recording or the beginning when you do your program change it's down here on the hub you can see that shiny part there so it's it's snapped and been pulled into the reel so what I'm gonna do is use an old reel to reel I have that doesn't work and I'm just gonna wind this tape off onto its reel by hand and then uh, get that uh, end out, roll it back, and uh, roll the tape back onto this original reel and splice it. Okay, so I've put some arrows on the hub and on the shell to remind me of the direction of tape flow in case I forget how it all goes together when I get back. I'm going to... Um, Remove the, the deteriorating foam pad first because it's spewing chunks of foam everywhere. And I'm going to position this on the reel to reel. Get the fish out the tail of the tape here, past the pinch roller. I'm going to thread it onto this uh, empty take up reel here. All right, so I'm going to uh, try, maybe try to rest this cover on top so the tape doesn't start flying off the hub in there at a weird angle or something. And so I'm feeding the end into here. And we'll see how this works. I think actually I'm going to hold the, the hub and try to maintain some level of tension here. Actually, okay. All right, well, so far so good. So this is kind of how it's going to work. So I'm not going to leave the camera rolling the whole time and bore you with this. This is probably going to be, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes of work. So we'll be right back after this. Okay, so here we are maybe 10 minutes later and um, it's taken a little while to roll this tape off. I'm at the very end now. I'm going to slowly... I want to see how this feeds out of the the top of the hub. I think it's pretty straightforward though. There we go. Hmm, well there's a crease, a couple of creases here. And that's it. It's just uh, wrapped straight around. So I'm going to pull this out the top here and then just start rolling back. I see. There's like a... Uh, don't need to have a lot of it hanging out either. We'll... Uh, liable to wrap it around something. Okay, there we go. So, it's a little tough, but yeah, you have to hold the tape as well. And hope that your cat doesn't destroy it. Alright, so I'm going to use this mechanical pencil to put the end in the the whole of the reel here, and I've got it wrapped around enough that 
it maintains tension and I'm just gonna spin the tape back on this way although again it's looking like it's going to be easier just to do it by hand so let me do that and we'll be back in a moment okay so I got the rest of the tape wrapped onto the reel I'm a little concerned because the um, tapes not uh, uniformly wrapped and on there and all like it would be with a machine um, we'll see how it works out I'm basically gonna pull both ends out and snap the cover back on I've also got um, the pressure pad replaced there's people that sell uh, a track repair kits and stuff online so let's see how we do with this uh, piece of foam weather stripping in there I'm gonna go ahead and snap the front cover back on and be back in a minute okay so I've got a piece of uh, aluminum tape tiny little thing that I've got to try and get the backing off and another piece of clear tape that's on that white piece of paper uh, the aluminum tape doesn't look like the right thing it's not wide enough and uh, it looks more like maybe window uh, alarm burglar alarm window tape from back in the day so uh, you know, I guess I need to probably buy better supplies next time. Here's what the finished repair looks like. You've got the silver tape over the quarter inch magnetic tape and behind it there's some clear plastic tape attached to the other side to make it mechanically stronger. Now to get all of this back into the cartridge I basically just roll this back like this forward and that uh, gets the the tape in and now it's ready to play I'm gonna let it uh, run for a few programs here and we'll see if it snaps at the splice